Hi everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining my channel. Right, today I'm going to do an unboxing of another machine from Gurmilai, which is, uh, I think in the Western world, it's called the uh, Gemilai or something like that, right? But uh, um, the model number is actually CRM3145. Um, the um, YouTube review on this machine has been done by other channels before, and I've also done it on my. Uh, a sort of an introduction on my Instagram so but today I'm just going to do a two-part video which is the first part will be today's video which is an unboxing and the general outlook of the machine then the second part which I'll probably do tonight uh, which will be the deep dive on the machine and its functionality so let's say start let's get started see uh, this is actually my kitchen and uh, I, I'm just going to set up a small corner there temporarily uh, to display the uh, CRM3145 uh, before I move it to my cafe for display. So uh, let me get the box in. It's a pretty big box. Um, um, it looks traditionally like a standard E61 group but without the, uh, the screw which allows you to uh, install the flow control meters or temperature sensor and things like that. Uh, but this machine comes with PID and it's a display uh, of the temperature and short timing as well. So far, very similar in terms of its uh, display function, the LED function on the CRM3007L. So um, let me get the box in and then let's look at the box and then let's open it and see what's the inside. Right, so this is actually the box. Uh, let me cut it open. Um, it looks like it's around 50 cm in height, about probably 30 to 35 cm in depth. And then the width is about maybe 40 to 45 cm. Yeah, I'm talking about the box, right? Um, the machine that I'm unboxing is actually the stainless steel chrome model. Uh, apparently, the white color model sells really well. Uh, and uh, yeah. I just don't want to un unbox another white color machine, which um, you know, has a potential of selling. But the chrome model is the one that I like. It comes with uh, some flats over here. I think I believe this is the accessory box. In terms of the way they package, it reminds me of uh, uh, Lelit when I unbox it. It also comes with an uh, accessory box stacks on top. Ooh, it's a pretty deep accessory box, right? Okay, let me just take it out. The machine is right underneath. Alright, let's take a look at the accessory box before we go into the machine. So everything is really well padded. There's a lot of foam. Right, let's remove this. Uh, it comes with an uh, instructional manual. Right, pretty standard. Uh, I believe this is a raised drip tray cup, uh, raised, uh, raised stand. If you want to bring your cup closer, your trick tray is here. It comes with a double spouted uh, polyfilter. It's slightly heavier than the one on the CRM3007. I think this is probably solid uh, plastic. The CRM3007 uh, handle is actually a, 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 a very empty plastic. It's very light. It's a lot lighter. Uh, comes with a scoop, brush, basket. I think it also comes with the same temper. Right, so pretty much this is the accessories that comes with the machine. Right, let me put this aside and then let's bring out the machine, right? That's the style of the day. Right, the machine is here, right, as you can see. So I'm going to lift it out. So let me tilt the camera back to uh, here and then you give you a better look. Right, there's a lot of uh, carton boxes at the side to... Uh, to sort of uh, pad the machines. So I'm, I hope I can leave this out like that. I think this machine is probably ideal with two person. One person is slightly more challenging to leave it out. But I'm trying my best. Uh, okay, it's really hard to get it out. Um, let me think of a better way to get it out. Okay, I'm gonna turn it upside down, right? Uh, I think that's the best way for me to get it out. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this padding on the floor. <laughs> I'm not too sure whether this is the right way, but uh, this is the way I'm gonna do it anyway. Right. I hope I don't damage the machines. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it up. Okay, probably you can't see what I'm doing here. So this is what happened. I'm actually turning the machine upside down. Okay. Okay, now I'll be turning it. Okay, I'm going to leave it up. Okay, the machine is actually not too heavy, right? When it's empty. So let me show you the machine. Later, I'll change the angle to let you have a better look. Oh, it's pretty tall, I would say. Okay, let's get the uh, side panel away. Okay, maybe I should uh, zoom in a little bit. Right, so now the uh, machine is left, it's being left on the table. Now I'm just gonna remove the plastic, just covering it. And there you go, right, you can see the machines, I'm pairing the machines together with the Time Wall Sculptor 70S. So let me remove all this plastic. Right, um, the knob feels very good actually, in fact. Right, uh, not a standard, uh, it's an E61, but it's not the standard uh, Italian E61 group. Uh, I'm, I mean, in terms of design, because usually there's a there's a hex screw here which allows you to install the uh, either the flow control meters or the uh, temperature sensor. Right, so oh, they even supply you with the you know if you want to um, drain it out, right? You can actually connect to the bottom, and then of course the power cable uh, for the Singapore version it comes with already pre-fitted UK three pin plug, so you don't have to change anything. Right, remove this. Right, so basically it's a. Uh, I would say in, in terms of outlook, right, it's a very uh, well-built machine, looks really polished, all the stainless steel looks really um, high quality. Let me remove the tape, which actually secure the panels, right, just like those you receive in your refrigerator or your washing machines or TV, you know, when you first uninstall it, right, there's more tapes on top to prevent um, rattling. Uh, during transport, I believe. So let me just peel this off. Right, this is the drip, this is the water tank cover. Then pop it open. And let me just take it out. Right, so generally this is the outlook of the machine. Let's remove all the stickers that's covering the machine's meters. Okay, let's peel this off. Let's peel this off also, right? Alright, so on this side you can see this is actually similar to the LCC on the Lelit, whereby it displays the short timer, the blue temperature and things like that. And then on this side it gives you the, the blue pressure, right? Yeah, this is the blue pressure. And uh, what makes this machine special is actually this steam tip over here, right? So this is actually, there's actually a temperature sensor there, right? To actually detect uh, the temperature of the steam milk, uh, which means when you steam milk, you don't have to look at it. You can just uh, put this in and then it will steam. It should stop um, automatically when it reaches a temperature, right? Pretty standard, I would say. Oh, the stainless steel is pretty well polished. Uh, there's a screw that screw hold on to the shower screen, right? Um, um, pretty well made, I would say, right? Okay, so there are four buttons on top, right? Uh, power on button, single double shots. Uh, I think this is, uh, I have to check what is this, right? What is this button here, right? Let's see the water tank. Water tank can be lifted out this way really nicely. A very generous and big and deep water tank, right? Today I'm, I'm right in this video. I'm not going to fill it with water. Uh, basically, today's video is just unboxing and then set everything up. And then tonight I'll be doing another video to actually start the machine and use a grinder to dial in the espresso as well as the steam some milk. 
The logo on it is pretty nice. Sorry about the mess whereby uh, the stainless steel panel is reflecting. Right, it's really highly reflective, uh, which actually exposed all my untidiness in my kitchen, right? Okay, so pretty much um, a very well built and handsome machine, right? So let me take out a drip tray and then put it on and then uh, let's conclude this video. It's not going to be a long one, right? So let's get to it, right? So I have already set up the machine with the drip tray, right? So this is the drip tray. Right, uh, there's some um, plastic paddings to re prevent vibration. The inside is actually, uh, I believe this is plastic. And you can see there's a plug hole here whereby you can actually unplug and you can do the drain out. And I believe this machine can be uh, plumbed in as well. Let me check the underneath. Right. Uh, there's, let me see. Uh, okay, there's no plumb in kit but there's a drain out, right? So this machine is designed for home use. Um, yep. Right, so basically this is an unbox and this is the first part of the video. Uh, stay tuned for the second one uh, whereby we will actually test out the machine and uh, its functionality. Right, so thanks for joining me today and um, let's uh, stay tuned for the second video on how the machine actually performs with the Time Lord Sculptor, right? So stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you very soon.